Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> How are you guys doing? My name is Zara. I am a uh, Muslim, feminist, Iranian-American comedian. <laughs> Thanks for the applause. <laughs> You know, I don't really appreciate that, because it's like, why can't I be Muslim and feminist? Why is that a good thing? Uh, I am very excited to be Muslim. I, um, I feel like Muslims are doing very well right now. <laughs> the Middle East has gotten bigger. I don't know if you've noticed this. Uh, it used to be just like, I don't know, like three or four countries. Um, I don't know geography, because that's the American side of me. But <laughs> now it's like... The Middle East is like North Africa and South Asia, and for a while we had Russia, and they were like, no, just Chechnya. <laughs> this is getting bigger. And uh, I, NATO does very smart political comedy. I, uh, I, can't, I can't do that. I get very confused very easily by politics. I watch television, and I feel like for as much as we do, shouldn't Muslims be winning? <laughs> you know, and I mean, if it's true, everything that they say about Muslims, I feel like everybody should just be nicer to me. <laughs> I'm just saying, if I'm a monster, I want monster status. I want a picture, a sketch of my footprint in a bar in some backwoods place of Montana where some goober swears they saw me. <laughs> I'm just a bird around the corner. I, today I was going to tell you guys a story. I have a show called All Atheists Are Muslim. It's a one-woman show. I don't know if anybody's... Yeah? Some people? Uh, it's a, a show I perform about my atheist, infidel, whitey white. Why do I do Boyfriend and I moving in together and telling my Iranian Muslim parents about it. And we just got married. I am. Yeah. <laughs> You're supposed to wear it every day. <laughs> I didn't know this. Uh, <laughs> this is very hard to do. Are there married couples in the audience? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Married either. <laughs> I <love> a party. <laughs> um, I uh, I just got married and um, we have been together for nine years. We got married a month ago at a retirement home <laughs> over Thanksgiving, and everyone asked me why did you get married in a retirement home, and I'm like because I want him to know what it's like to die alone. <laughs> We did a first grandfather, it was very sweet. It was very sweet. And it was a lovely wedding. It turned into a wedding in like three days. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever have tried to have like a ceremony and you tell everyone, just do a ceremony. And everyone is like, sure. And then everyone who is like your mother and her two friends are like, we're gonna make you have a wedding. So then you have one. And it's not really a decision that you get to make. I don't know if you guys are aware of this. Uh, you guys aren't married couples at all, so you're just like, that's cool. <laughs> Why I'm not married. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, and uh, so I want to tell you the story about Duncan and I. Uh, I it's ch it's changed so much. I, I used to perform the show. I did it like in 2011, and since you know our lives have shifted like dramatically. And uh, you know I'm very happy with my white husband. Uh, <laughs> I think everyone should get their own white guy. <laughs> I'm very happy with my white man. I think uh, if you're a white guy, get another white guy. <laughs> Two white guys. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> I go to the bank and I just, <laughs> my Muslim rage came out when you told me about my fees. <laughs> this is my white man. <laughs> I think there's been a misunderstanding. <laughs> Let me get my white husband on the phone. He's my husband. I have a husband. 
If you are a husband, you should just say it anyway. Be like, you know, this conversation has gotten very difficult. Let me ask my husband. It's very helpful. Um, nobody's married, so nobody gets any of these jokes. <laughs> but if you're married, it's fucking depressing. Um, <laughs> so, Duncan and I, uh, we decided to move in together. And Duncan, he's kind of a chill guy, you know. Um, so here's a story that sort of sums up Duncan. For like two years we'd been together before we moved in together. And, uh, he always wakes up before me. He's like one of those assholes that just like seven o'clock in the morning. What are we gonna do? You know. And uh, when he goes to bed, it's like ten o'clock at night. <laughs> well, rejuvenating. And uh, I woke up before him one morning, and I was very excited. And I I went and I got us coffees to celebrate. You know. And I always drink a soy latte. This is the conversations that married couples have. You're just going to have to deal with it because I have seven more minutes. Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, and I got my soy latte because I am lactose intolerant. Whenever you say that, are there any other lactose intolerant? <laughs> yes, okay. Whenever you say you're lactose intolerant, people always say, what happens? <laughs> Flowers come puffing out of my ass. Uh, and so I, got, I get a soy latte and he gets a mocha. Every time, every day, I mean, yeah, this is as exciting as we are, every day for two years. And I go and I put it down and I say, Duncan, this is the soy latte. This is the mocha. And I leave and I come back and I'm drinking it and I'm like, this tastes like chocolate. And I go, Duncan, why did I get the mocha? And he goes, I don't know. I don't know why you got me the soy latte. <laughs> that's pretty much Duncan in a nutshell. Gives you kind of the breadth of his character there. And so I introduced him to my dad, and I was like really nervous, you know. My mom, when she met him for the first time, my mom did this. She went, can I, is it okay if I hold your hand? Okay. Can I? She goes, uh, Duncan, I am so happy to meet you. <laughs> I had a dream last night that Zahra had a baby with red hair just like you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mom! <laughs> That's the sound of his car screeching out of the driveway. Uh, <laughs> and my dad is like, what do you do? <laughs> and at that time, Duncan was a UPS driver. Or no, he worked for UPS. And my and I'm like, you know, what's my dad? I don't know, think like, you know, my dad who is like my dad when he found out that I was a theater major, the only question he had for me was, Is there a PhD in that? <laughs> Get it. <laughs> I used to bring my grades home to my father, that was a nightmare. Any first generationers in here? Yeah? Some yeah. yeah. <laughs> you already know where I'm going with this. You cannot bring an A minus home. Right? Right. That's true. You cannot bring it back. You cannot bring an A minus home. To bring an A minus home is like, you know, my father would have been like, we did not escape a revolution <laughs> and swim the waters of the Atlantic Ocean and kiss the feet of the Statue of Liberty for an A minus in sixth grade math. <laughs> But my father is a man of a few words, so he would just say, what the shit the hell is this? <laughs> That's why he has two favorite words in the English language. The shit? The hell? The shit the hell is this? When he first visited me at my, at my dorm in college, what the shit the hell is this? <laughs> this is a dorm? <laughs> You're paying for it. Uh, <laughs> So, you know, my dad, you know, looks Duncan up and down, and he goes, okay. And then he goes to me and he goes, it's good. He's like a man's man. <laughs> that gets, like, mileage with men. This is like, this is the thing among men, to be a man's man. Oh, work the land. I am a carpenter. I build nothing. My arms and my imagination are strong. <laughs> Uh, 
I don't think very highly of men. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get along with men wonderfully. I have very low expectations of you. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so, you know, my dad and him met, and, and they seemed to get along. And and I told my dad, you know, that we were gonna move in together, and at first my parents thought that I was joking, you know, it took about 10 minutes for them to like actually, you know, she's a comedian, it's funny. <laughs> uh, and uh, then, you know, when they finally realized that I was serious, my mom, of course, the first thing she said, just get married. Just get married. Like as though you just get married. Just jump off a cliff, I don't know. Um, that sounds like more fun. Um, just as permanent. Uh, but, <laughs> None of the marriage jokes work here! <laughs> we, uh, we, my dad, you know, is like, there's no question. Like, you can't move in together. It's non-Islamic. I don't even know why you are asking me this question. And my dad loves to, like, advertise his religion, right? Like, he'll say, what does that mean? Two minutes. Two minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> my dad, it's totally like Pamphlet one up, and I was like, I can't read right now, but I'll read it after. Uh, my, dad, my dad loves it. He says, You know, the great thing about the Islam, Sahara, is there's no person between you and your God. It's just you and the God, man. You can talk about whatever the shit you want. <laughs> you have to ask the God inside the Zahra heart if I do this thing. Can I live with myself? <laughs> <laughs> this is the gold in the Zahra heart telling you. And then I checked. <laughs> and I said, he's okay with it. <laughs> we had a great conversation. We're going to save a lot of money moving in together. And it's way for that. And my dad was like, oh, it doesn't work like that, okay? You cannot talk like that. It's not Islamic. You can't do it. That's it. You know? And we had this huge fight, my dad and I, it was like this kickboxing match of like feminist theory that went right over his head. And like, you know, Abrahamic scripture, was just like, in the Quran, in the Quran, in the Quran, in the Quran. And I was like, the Judith Butler, you know, and this magazine, this magazine, this magazine, this magazine. And my dad just was like, I don't know what that shit means. But what would your grandma say? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Low blow! And uh, my mother was the one, my mother came in and she was like, you guys are so full of pride, the both of you, that you are going to break this family apart. And she was crying and, you know, when your mama cries, you ignore her and you continue fighting. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and it was true, my dad and I went there, you know, and we were like, oh my god, like, this is it, and it was very scary, and, you know, especially when you're a first generation, like, my entire family is in Iran, I don't have anyone else I like here other than, <laughs> but, not the men, but, um, <laughs> I like you, I just expect less, um, and it was a, a terrifying moment, and my father, you know, my father is like, you know, we can't, you know, I'll think of something, I'll, I'll think of something, and he's like this mad scientist, you know, he calls me at like midnight, and he has this like brilliant idea, right? And he's like, you're gonna get a pre-engage. <laughs> and, uh, you know, at first I was like, we're not gonna get married, da, da, da. and he's like, it's a pre, 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 it's a prefix, you speak English? <laughs> And he said that in Islam, there's like, in Shia Islam, there's this, you know, tradition where you can, like, get a pre-engagement so that you can, you know, be boyfriend, girlfriend, and it's all kosher. And, <laughs> and, and you know, nobody gets upset. And it's like, you know, you have this, this relationship. And I was like, well, you know, that's, that's great, Dad, but Duncan is atheist. And my dad was like, you know, what is it, like a Christian or some shit like that? <laughs> Uh, atheist, he like, you know, he believes in science, and my dad was like, you mean that Tom Cruise shit? <laughs> Tell him to convert, man, what is it? you know, and I was like, no, he's not a Scientologist, he doesn't believe in God, a God, any God, you know, and my dad is like, you know, well, the word Muslim means one who believes in a force greater than himself. 
because he believed in that force. And I was like, no, he's not spiritual like that. You know, he thinks we have religion due to the lack of a real economic infrastructure. <laughs> and my dad says, oh, come on. Does he believe in gravity? <laughs> is gravity a force greater than the Duncan? I don't know. Maybe it is not. Maybe, you know, he's like, I am the Duncan. I am the only damn shit in the whole damn universe. Everything revolves around the Duncan. Is that what you believe? <laughs> Duncan and I were like, uh, no. You know? <laughs> he believes in gravity. And my dad said, okay, he believes in gravity. It is a force greater than himself. You cannot change it. He's a Muslim. <laughs> So, I would like to welcome you all to the religion of Islam, <laughs> and thank you for having me.